Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are going to do Aquarius. All right, month of February. Um, and I'm going to do the month of February because I will be back mid-month to do something else for you guys. Okay, so this is going to be all of February. Please remember energy is fluent. Okay, so it could have already taken place. It can already happen. I just said that twice. <laughs> um, yada, yada. Um, it could happen in two weeks. It could happen at the end of the month. All right, so let's just see. Aquarius, month of February. Two of fire. So you're choosing a direction, but you're tired. Okay. You're you're wondering whether or not to invest in something clear as day. Um, Two of fire. And the seven of earth. So you're a beast when it comes to something. Okay, when you invest, you definitely invest your time. But you're definitely exhausted. I kind of feel like you possibly feel a little defeated, even though you're in the power, you're in the energy of power. I can feel power coming from the seven of earth, okay? But you're definitely tired trying to do, choose a direction. That's for sure. Um, let's see what else we get. I guess it's just where do you want to invest your time? It looks like you're, you're going to invest your time in something. Okay, we got the star. There you are. All right, it's, it's your destiny. It's your path. Um, yeah, you're definitely in your power. You got the king of fire and patience. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been seeing birds lately too with that song. In the sky, flying. All right. So to me, it's saying it's soaring. So King of Fire always takes action. Um, be patient on yourself. You're carrying a lot of power. Or it's it's the feminine energy. I'm gonna have to clarify. To me, it's it's you. It's you guys taking action and investing time somewhere. It's it's you're definitely following destiny. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get one more. To me, it's like someone's telling you to have patience. It's, it's like another star right there. So it's like with the sun. I don't know if you're dealing with a le I, I don't know. The emotions are high though. All right. Ten of earth at the bottom of the deck. You have the high priestess. Okay. So... You definitely have the inner knowing. Be patient. The Ten of Earth has been coming up as an energy. I'm obviously going to clarify. So, right now what this is telling me is that my Aquarians are taking action. They're about to invest their time. It looks like straight up destiny. You have the inner knowing. Patience is key. Be patient on your heart. Be patient with your emotions, your skills, your power, your money, your destiny. This doesn't come out that often, okay? Um, where's my pen?
9, 10, 11. Okay, it brings you right back to the two. All right, so it's it's grounding the situation chip and choosing a path, but you are. So this is this is brilliant. Okay, so in the month of February, action is being taken. Patience is definitely required, okay? So let's let's I'm going to clarify the major arcana's. <clears throat> in each read. Okay. Start with the star. Tell me about the star. The star, the star, the star. All right, you got two. So it's the fool and the ten of pence again. And it's right under the ten of pence. And the fool, it is that it is that new start, okay? Um it's it's taking that leap of faith, which is your destiny. There's been more than enough growth Okay, that's beautiful. Tell me about patience. Patience, my dears. Okay, it's the wheel of fortune. So it's just it's just time. Something is gonna go in your direction, but patience is required. Okay. I don't know if you think it's instant. Something's going to go in your direction. So if you're thinking something's not, it will. You're just going to, it's just going to require some patience. Okay. This is something going in the right direction. And in the long run, it's, it's bringing huge, huge stability. Tell me about the high priestess. To me, that's, that's the inner knowing. It's a spiritual route. You know, it's discussions. Okay. So... With patience, I mean, with the high priestess, it's the queen of cups. <sighs> so, this is somebody that's in your life. That's the queen of cups energy, very nurturing. Um, she's the protector of death. So, to me, this is a guardian, a grandmother, a mother. This is somebody watching over you. It's, but it, you know that. Take your heart with you. Look at that. But you are. So that's amazing because that's a big message that they're giving you. Absolutely beautiful. So you definitely have somebody that's crossed over. That's got you. Being the queen of cups and the mother of death, it's, it's to me it looks like a... a uh, female mother, parental mother, that's that's watching you, and you have the inner knowing. There's no question. It's like take your hat with you. Okay. So that's that's gorgeous. At the bottom of the deck, the two of wands, exactly where you're starting. It's that path. It's gorgeous. Okay. So. Beautiful messages, okay? You definitely have a loved one giving you the okay. Make sure, you know, you're using that hat, which you most definitely are. There is no question. Something is going to go in your direction. You just have to have patience. A solid, solid stability. Came up twice. It's that leap of faith, it's, but it's your destiny. You're already aware of that with the star. I mean, it's you too, coming up as the energy of the king of fire, whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. It's the yin and the yang throughout the month, okay? But you are going on your path, and you are about to invest some time. This card right now, to me, has got a lot of power, okay? So, good for you guys. I love you guys. Bye.